this is Nisa Jani here. Welcome to my channel. If you have already subscribed, then welcome back. If you still haven't, please do subscribe before you leave. Do follow me on Instagram. I'm at Nielsen Journey. For today's video, we are doing a side-by-side -side face off with two different products which look similar but are intended for two different purposes, but I'm going to use them for the same purpose of concealing and correcting. The first product in question is the MAC Conceal and Correct Duo. And I've been talking about this product for a very long time and I've been using it for ages. It is a fantastic product. There is no question about that. But recently I just found another product which looks quite similar to the MAC product. And it is NYX Sculpt and Highlight Duo. And I found this uh, just last week while I was shopping at Sephora and I was amazed to see how similar it looked when compared to the MAC Conceal and Correct Duo. If, as you can see, this is the NYX and the, this one is MAC and NYX. Both are quite similar in packaging but um, as you can see, the colors are quite different. The MAC Conceal and Correct Duo has uh, this shade for correcting which is a lot brighter than the one which NYX has for sculpting or contouring. This product was definitely not meant for concealing or correcting but I'm going to give it a try and let's see how it works out and we're going to use it both the products side by side and see how they're paired together and whether this thing, the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Duo could be a dupe for this high-end product. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna go into war and put both of them to the test and let's see how they turn out. On the website MAC Thailand, uh, this product, it retails for 1,200 Thai baht Whereas on the NYX Thailand website, this product, NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo, retails for only 495 Thai Baht. So that is the big difference between the two at the moment, which is quite attractive. If this works out, it will be such a big money saver. So without further ado, let's go try both of them out. I have already prepped and primed my skin with my all-time favorite Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer. Then I have used the primer, NYX Photo Loving Primer. Again, my all-time favorite. So I am actually using all the products that I usually use for my everyday makeup and they are my personal favorites. So the next thing I usually do is use my MAC Conceal and Correct Duo, the orange side of course, the burnt coral. So I'm going to use this on my left hand side and then I will use the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Duo with the contouring portion, this part on my eyes on the right hand side. So let's see how it turns out, here goes. applied it on my left hand side eye and this is exactly how I do it every day 
So I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend it in but the beauty blender is not damp. I always use a dry beauty blender. I usually use a dry beauty blender and not a damp one to actually blend in this corrector because I don't want the beauty blender to actually take away a lot of product or move it around too much. So here goes. Okay, there you have it. This is the eye which is color corrected and this is not obviously. So you can see the difference here already. So it does seem a lot better. The darkness has subsided quite a lot. And now let's see if the next product can do the same. So here goes nothing. shade around my eyes just like I did with uh, the MAC product on this side so what I'm going to do I'm going to use the other side of the same uh, beauty blender which is not damp and it's quite dry and I'm just going to tap it in okay there you have it this side is NYX, this side is MAC. I think NYX looks better. <laughs> okay, now let's get a little close. Both have blended in very nicely and NYX was a, a little bit much more lighter in texture. So I think it has blended in much better than the MAC one. But, uh, and as far as I can tell, my goodness, the NYX Caramel is giving me much more coverage over my darkness than MAC did. If you can see for yourself, I can still see a bit of darkness over here, which I usually use to conceal with the concealer later on after applying the foundation. But here, the NYX product has actually concealed a lot better it has corrected a lot better you can hardly see the darkness on this side but here you can still see a bit of the darkness under my eyes and this is incredible mac was a little bit more thicker than the uh, than the nyx product but uh, this also blended in quite well but i think it took a little bit longer to blend this one then it took to blend this out but I am so stunned right now I cannot even begin to tell you okay let's just go ahead with the rest of the makeup because I still want to use uh, this highlighter as a concealer and see how it that works out okay the foundation is done and I'm now going to try the NYX Sculpton Highlight Face Duo this side of the product which is in the color vanilla and I'm going to use it as a concealer. it has done a superb job now let's try the concealer on the MAC product which is the bright yellow right over here and I'm going to use it on the MAC side of course amazed right now both the products look exactly identical they have performed exactly the same way 
and they have done a fantastic job of concealing my darkness around my eyes and correcting obviously color correcting first and then concealing even though this product was not meant to do that but still i believe it has done a remarkable job so let me just go and finish the rest of the makeup and then i'll give you my final thoughts on both the products see you soon okay everyone so this is the final look we have done the battle it's all done and over with we have already tried and tested both the products and to tell you the truth i am so impressed with the nyx product for 495 thai baht i think i have discovered a gem it looks amazing on my under my eyes the um, the coverage over the darkness is excellent there's hardly any creasing or any pro prominent creasing that i usually don't get i do have laugh lines around my eyes and no matter how good the concealer is it does tend to sink into my laugh lines and that is okay i love my laugh lines they are so much a part of me so i really don't worry about it that much but i do worry when uh, a concealer goes over and beyond and you know creates a uh, excessive lines around my under my eyes and cre creases which are not part of my face or a part of my under eye area so that is when i tend to get worried but right now when i'm looking at myself all i can see is very nice coverage same exactly the same as the mac product on this side and i can hardly see any difference between both the products and how well they have performed and i cannot believe this this side 1200 thai baht this side 495 thai baht it's not even funny really <laughs> to tell you the truth this is amazing so you can see for yourself and check the difference i seriously do not see any difference between the two both of them have done a remarkable job and this is such a big money saver seriously because i've been using the mac conceal and correct duo for quite some time now and the only thing that worried me was that because i was using it ev almost every day uh, and i didn't want it to run out very quickly it did cost quite a bit so now i'm happy that i found the next sculpt and highlight and by the way i used it as a concealer and also to highlight my high points like my bridge of my nose uh, the forehead the finish look is stunning i just love the fact that there is hardly any difference between both the products the way they have applied the way they have performed on my skin and i am loving it so all of you out there who do not want to shell out 1200 thai baht for the mac conceal and correct duo i guarantee you that you're going to love the nyx sculpt and highlight face duo in its place try it out it is available in a couple more shades so you can always pick and choose so all said and done what a fantastic time i had i am so excited right now i cannot even begin to tell you because it feels good when you are saving money on something and when you find a product which costs less and yet it performs exactly the same as a high end product that feeling is incredible so go out and enjoy this nyx product and let me know how you feel about it I'm still in love with my MAC Conceal and Correct by the way. I'm not going giving up on this one, but yes, for my everyday makeup, this is going to definitely work out and it is going to save me a lot of money. So both the products are great in their own uh, respective way and I hope that you're going to give the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo a try as well and see how it works out for you. Do let me know if you do try it out. Leave me a comment below. I uh, or send me pictures for that matter follow me on Instagram and tag me hashtag Nielsen journey and before I sign out I have one more thing to let you know I'm wearing the rock nudes palette by Maybelline 
I showed you this palette in my drugstore haul last week and this is the look I came up with today. I've used the palette and it has done wonders really. I love them. I'm in love with this gray slaty eye look and I just love the way the colors have just muted in together. They have blended in so well and such a beautiful defined look I've created with this palette. It just did not disappoint me. I had high hopes for it. I knew it had potential but I didn't know that it could go to this level. It is amazing and by the way the lipstick I'm wearing the very wimpy shade is actually from Kat Von D and I can hardly read the name but I will definitely put it in the description box below for you for reference here it is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick so do let me know if you want to see more comparative videos like this and I will definitely go out and look for more drugstore products that can easily be duped for high-end ones and make them perform side by side on screen so that you can easily judge on your own whether they can be used uh, in place of the high-end product or not. So that's all for today. Give my video a big thumbs up if you liked watching it. Please do subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, be happy, be proud, be yourself. This is Neil Sujani saying goodbye.